And in talking to the companies themselves, they will acknowledge that uh, their safety protocols and their testing regimens, et cetera, may not be where they need to be yet. Uh, and I think it's entirely appropriate then for us to plant a flag and say, all right, frontier companies, you need to disclose what your safety protocols are to make sure that we don't have rogue programs going off and uh, hacking into uh, in our financial system, for example. Um, tell us what tests you're using. Make sure that we have some independent verification that right now this stuff is working. Um, but that framework can't be a fixed framework because these models are developing so quickly that you know, oversight and any regulatory framework is going to have to be flexible and it's going to have to be nimble and it's going to and by the way it's also going to require some really smart people who understand how these programs and these models are working not just in the companies themselves but also in yeah. the nonprofit sector and in government, which is why I was glad to see that the Biden administration, part of the executive order, is specifically calling on a bunch of, you know, hotshot young people who are interested in AI to do a stint outside of the companies themselves and uh, you know, go work for government for a while, go work, you know, uh, with some of the research institutes that are popping up in places like uh, the Harvard Lab or uh, the Stanford AI Center um, and some other nonprofits, because we're, we're going to need to make sure that um, everybody can have confidence that whatever journey we're on here with AI, that it's not just being driven by a few people yeah. without any kind of uh, interaction or voice from um, ordinary folks, regular people who are going to be well, using these products there. and impacted by these products. There's ordinary folks and there's the people who are building it who need to go help write regulations. Right. And there's a split there.